Istanbul, which is technically the largest city in Europe because it's on the, the, the western side of the Bosphorus and it's, it's, it's a nearly 20 million people, about 18 plus million people. Fantastic cosmopolitan uh, metropolis with all range of things. It's, it's very easy to, to take the, the, the simple uh, structures that exist within an academic institution, Turkish language, literature of Turkey, but real life isn't divided up into, into those, those different kinds of you know, very narrowly defined disciplines. Real life is, is very broad and there's a lot of interaction. Real life is multidisciplinary. Turkey has been a cultural crossroads for 30,000 years, and when you go there and see it, you just you recognize it is the literally the crossroads between uh, the Middle East, Asia, and Europe. Uh, and it, it shows itself historically, and it shows itself culturally and, and, and religiously. Uh, you know, Turkey is a secular state. Uh, you know, the vast majority of its citizenry uh, are Muslims, but um, but you know, this pretty you know remarkable uh, model of a secular state, a very uh, you know, active democracy, uh, yet at the same time, you know, obviously a, a Muslim country when you travel around and, and uh, you're awakened to the call for prayers uh, every morning, which is actually a beautiful way to wake up, and, uh, and you, you experience, um, you know, the Muslim uh, culture.